On this offshore gas field in Karish, the production of natural gas is officially underway. And it's all due to the maritime border agreement between Israel and Lebanon, which is to be officially signed Thursday. The deal was made possible following lengthy mediations by the US. And Israel's president visited Washington on Wednesday to make his gratitude known. I want to thank you, Mr. President, and the administration for moving forward and carving the deal between Israel and Lebanon on the maritime borders. President Biden also lauded the bilateral development, saying it took courage. I think it's a historic breakthrough. It took some real guts, and I think it uh, took uh, principle and persistent diplomacy to get it done. Israel ultimately secured full rights over the offshore gas field in Karish. But Lebanon has full rights to explore and operate the reservoir in Kana further north, part of which is in Israeli territory, and Israel will receive some revenues. Beirut hopes that this gas field will enable it to emerge from the economic crisis that's currently plaguing the country. And Israel is looking to supply its domestic market as well as ramp up its exports, particularly to Europe, which has been seeking to diversify its supply since the Russian invasion of Ukraine.